I don't I don't have anything else to say about that. I mean, we, we destroyed an airship to get a different airship. I want to go back onto that skyline to see if I missed anything on the other side of it. I, I have a feeling there might be secrets up there. Might not be though. Let me just go back up here. And just check if there's anything else I can do. I can do this. Which does not help me. Alright, let's go back. Let's go back the other way. So I can't jump off there. I can jump off here. I can go over there. I can go up here. Why does the game let me do this? There's nothing useful up here. Literally nothing useful up here. And then we can get up here, right? And the game lets us come here. But again, there's nothing useful for us up here. We can't get off there or there. We can go around. Right. And then we can't jump off there. We can jump off. Wait a minute. I can jump off here. Now, why would I want to do this? Why does the game let me do this? There's nothing here, though. I can't jump off there. I can't jump off there. And then this brings me back to here. So, okay, there's no secrets up there. There's no loot. There's a lot of hooks. But there's no reason for the hooks at all. Alright, here we are. Let's go into the factory. And actually, before we go in, let's look at this. Uh, again, the telescope's not useful. Yes. Alright, well, let's keep going. Oh, wait, there's... Mm. Explosions! I was gonna say there's still guards here, but there isn't, is there? Because explosions. Oh no, he's still he's still alive, that guy there. Hi. No, come back. Come back. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Um what can I take from these guys? I kinda need that ammo. Really need that stuff. Alright, are you guys dealing with this, or do I have to deal with this? Okay, I have to deal with this. Wow, look at this, he's a heavy. This guy's got a rocket launcher, look at him go! Yeah, fire those rockets. Fire those rockets. He's still alive. Come on, you got rocket launchers. There you go. You can do it. Because this guy's still alive that over there. I just really want these guys to do some good work. He's not. He's still full health. They do no damage to him. Look at him, he's still full health. Your allies do zero damage. Wow. They don't even do anything. You have to do all the work. Oh, my bad. They do something. They destroy the side afterwards. Alright, come on. Give me your ammo. Give me ammo. Yeah, 
And I guess we're coming through here. Daisy said she was coming here for Fink. We need to take that elevator up. Bet it leads to Fink's office. Alright, we're going to Fink's office, guys. Because the game says so. New pants, urgent care, decreased shield recharge, delay by one second. Increased shield... I want this. What is the comparison? Melee strike range increased by three times. Have we ever used this? Like, do we need this? Or do I want shield... I want... Okay, let's take the shield recharge. Because we are mostly relying on the shield to tank damage. I don't really have to use my melee attack all that much. Just saw something. What do I see? Corpse? Um, the elevator's almost broken, but conveniently, one of them is still active. Great. There's... Oh, look. Vigors factory line. Wait a minute, this factory line is automated. Why do they need workers if this is almost entirely automated? And this, look at this. Isn't this automated? There's no workers here. They're just right for each other, aren't they? Who? That's Roy and Comstock. Uh, possibly. Are you making another meta-fictional reference to how convenient everything is? Lynn? Mr. Lin? My god, I, I was so set on getting to Paris, I, I didn't really think that... You couldn't have known this would happen. I had a role in this catastrophe. If, if you want to pretend that we're purely innocents in this, then that's your prerogative, but... Actually, Elizabeth, we did not have a role in this catastrophe. Have you not been paying attention? This is not our Columbia. We went through a tear into a different Columbia. The, the witch that started the revolution is already dead. We didn't. I didn't do this. You didn't do this. Are you paying attention? Um, hello? Think? I saw you die, Booker. Saw it with my own eyes. Fitzroy. Listen, I got you your guns. I'm here for my airship. But my Booker DeWitt died for the Vox Populi. You either an imposter or a ghost. My Booker DeWitt was a hero to the cause. A story to tell your children. You... You just complicate the narrative. So write a new story. I mean, okay, it's a complicated narrative, but I mean, you can do it. You're a storyteller, just tell a story. Office of Jeremiah Fink. Who's not... messing about? Dead to pigs. Well, there you go. They're gonna shoot at you as well. I haven't gotten the uh, the execution achievement yet. So uh, the game really doesn't let you not kill people, like it just really really makes you, forces you really to kill a lot of people. A carnival of thrift at my disposal, oh yay, a carnival of thrift. Can I buy stuff? Dollar bill, I don't really want anything from you. No, I don't need any ammo. Ah, here we go, finally. Some upgrades. Charge aid. Brief invulnerability on attack and recharges shield. It sounds good. I'm not sure I'll use it very much though. I guess it's better than the other stuff. Uh, charge. See, because the like usually I'm not an action kind of guy. I like to stealth. I like to you kind know, of sit back and snipe people and all that. But because all the enemies run at you all the time, here's some cash. It's actually better to get a skill like the like the charge because 
you know, you can't stealth in this game, so why bother trying to, right? Um, sniper rifle damage boost, machine gun damage boost, I'm gonna buy that. And then, carbine recoil decrease, purchase that. What else can we get? I can't afford the other sniper rifle damage. I can get a burst gun. No, I'm just gonna leave that. I'm just gonna stick to the weapons that I have. At least for now. I don't think you can ever afford to upgrade all your weapons completely. Alright, there you go. A little bit of shopping. Finally, after all that time, we get an upgrade to the uh, to the shock jockey. And box of them. These holes have shown me yet another wonder, though I've yet to see the application for it. They illuminate a merger of machine and man that is somehow the lesser yet the greater of both parties. The process seems to be irreversible. <laughs> Perhaps, though. Comstock will have some need of this kind of thing to keep watch in that tower he is building. Alright. So they're building cyborgs. If you remember the red portals, or the red, red um, tears show different times as well as different places. Uh, what's this? Octopus? Oh, the tentacle vigor. Yes, tentacles. Press to wash away your enemies. Hold to grab enemies and release to reel them in for punishment. Uh, no. Thanks for offering, but no. So, yeah, so the, the red tears allow you to see through time and space, and so then what Fink has been doing apparently has been looking through the tears and gathering technologies from other places and other, and other times. And here, the game is basically saying that that's where the, uh, the songbird came from. It's a cyborg created by Fink after he saw the technology through one of these tears. The game hasn't really said where the tears come from yet, or who controls them. I mean, okay, I mean, Elizabeth can kind of control tears, and it is hinted at the, uh, at the monument that she is the source of most of the tears, if not all of them. But then, think benefits a lot from seeing through these red tears, and the game hasn't explained how those red tears appear yet, or why they would appear and help Fink and not anyone else. But let us continue. Help me out with this lock. Looks simple enough. Done. Uh, alright. Booker! What? Booker what? Why does she... Scream my name and then run ahead. All right, let's walk up there. No! 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 Q Q. Hey Daisy, nice shot. That's excessive. Burn their bodies when you're done. That's a little bit excessive. Nice shot though, right in the face. Ah, uh, so now we're gonna get attacked by the Vox. Yay. Okay, I can't jump over there. Let me just... I can't jump over there neither. What? Did they... Do they have a... A Robo... Robo watching? Really? I did a strike and I fell off. Really? When your life is saved, you will be partially healed, but so will your enemies. 
Alright, open the door. What just happened? Whoa! Are you dead yet? No, he's still not dead yet. Come on, come on. Is he dead yet? No, alright, now he's dead. How did I get down here? I did an aerial strike and I fell off the other side of the boat. Okay, ooh, Tesla coil. What does that do? What does the... what does it do? What does the Tesla coil do? Right, let's go up there. And let's pump the people. Um... Alright, execute him. Whoa, what are you doing? Sniper rifles, I can get on that boat. Hey bro. I don't even know what's going on. Is somebody coming up here? Oh, hi. No, no you don't have me. Of that thing. Of oh, what thing? Oh, it's a handyman. Look at that, it's a handyman, guys. Can I do that? Can I go back up? Did he come down? Okay, he went down. Can I skyline strike the handyman? That's what I want to know. Where is he? Where is the... oh there he is. There he is, let me just run away. I want to see if I can skyline strike the handyman. Is he... is he there? Is that... that's him. Ah, uh, you can kind of skyline strike the handyman. It doesn't really help you very much. Maybe we just do it over and over again till he dies. I still don't know what the Tesla core does though. <laughs> Alright, so there he is. Well, he ran away. I really don't like the way the handyman just hops around like that. I understand that like he needs to do that to match my to match my mobility. Oh, wait a minute. The Tesla coil just shocked the rail. I don't even know what the Tesla coil does. Okay, where is this guy? There he is. Um... Hi. Uh, 